And now we're taking a closer look at terrorism right in our own backyard. Back in June, a Warwick man was arrested on charges of conspiring to support an Islamic State terror group. As we've been reporting, Nicholas Rovinsky and two other men are accused of plotting to kill a conservative blogger. And tonight, we're checking in on that case. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell continues our in-depth coverage live from the control room. A name we haven't mentioned in a few months is Nicholas Ravinsky. He's the man from Warwick accused of having terrorist ties. We wanted to see where his case now stands. It's the closest publicly known ISIS connection in Rhode Island to date. For a week in early June, our cameras were planted outside of this home on Aspenet Drive in Warwick. It's where Nicholas Ravinsky sat inside as federal and state investigators searched his home for evidence. On June 11th, Ravinsky was charged. He's accused in the federal case of conspiring to support ISIS or ISIL as it's described in the court paperwork. According to the FBI, the 24-year-old changed his name to Nu Amriki two years ago to be more easily recognizable with ISIS members. We checked with the federal court in Boston and the last noted movement in this case was made in July when Ravinsky had an initial status conference. Since then, the docket has been silent. In the affidavit compiled by an FBI special agent, the country's case against Ravinsky has been drawn out. Federal agents say Ravinsky plotted to behead conservative blogger Pamela Geller in support of ISIS with two other men, David Wright and Usama Rahim. Rahim was killed by police in Boston after they say he lunged at them with a military-style knife. David Wright was also arrested. The blogger they planned to kill was never attacked. The Pilgrim High School graduate pleaded not guilty, and he's still being held in jail without bail. For now, Ravinsky will remain in jail. A judge sent a tentative star for his trial in February of 2017. Live in the newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.